What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here, and we are back in the world of uh, FTB Horizons. And uh, you'll notice we've gotten, well, Oppie is currently demolishing the giant, the giant big D penis out in front of the base. Thank God. So things are all nice and pretty. Um, and I'm going to be disassembling. Did she just take my engine? Thank you, madam. Uh, and I'm going to be disassembling this as well for a couple reasons. Um, mainly what's going on here is... There we go. We're just not going to go with the water engines, at least not for now. Um, they are... They're possible to use, uh, and, you know, they can even be a, a good asset to use, but I don't like the cosmetic setup. I mean, you, you pretty much have to have this big old ugly eyesore out in front of your base, and I'm not really want to do that. Now, I don't know what half of these are, so I'm not going to touch them. So, we're going to head back over here. Head back down. I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff we got, and I want to show you guys what we're going to do uh, with the food real quick. Do I have any wood left? Or is it downstairs? I'm slowly moving all my stuff downstairs. Um, maybe not. A muddy axe. That's not even. That's not even worth bringing out, man. A muddy axe. There we go. Ah, no. There we go. All right. I am gonna need that wood. I think that's everything we need from up here for now. All right. Heading back down. Um, I believe it covered that we're using the Sortex Vanber texture pack. Uh, in the last video, I I believe I did. But if not, we're using Sortex, which you could obviously see. One of my subs uh, found it for me, and uh, I've always been a big fan of Sortex. It's what I started playing Minecraft. Well, not Minecraft with, but it's it was the first texture pack I started playing, um, what was it? Technic with, and so I'm kind of, kind of in love with it. So we're just gonna kind of go with that. Um, okay, so we wanna do something with these berries real quick that is a little bit more effective. Um, a lot of you guys have been mentioning this. Um, I believe this is part of Pam's, yes, mixing bowl. This is what we need. So we need three, bam, 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 and we need this up top. That gives us the mixing bowl. And then uh, with the mixing bowl, we can actually, if you come over to the berries, you press U. Uh, for those of you guys who aren't aware, you can press U to see that. Um, we need a cutting board now, which is just basically an ironing and a stick and and the lock. So thankfully I have an ironing it over here. I did some mining, which I'll show you guys here in just a second. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I did enough mining, so we may end up having to do a, just a little bit more mining uh, on the stream. I'll try and cut that out for the most part on the video, but we'll see how it goes. And I believe it's like that. Yep, and now we have a fruit salad. And this is a hearty meal as uh, instead of a unfulfilling morsel. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Um, and then we're just gonna split these here like that. And that's gonna give us 17 hearty meals. So let's see how effective this is. Uh, the actual berries themselves, as you guys can see, just one more time, it's about a half heart. Not only that, but it's not very filling. Uh, it doesn't last very long. You can see we don't have the buff there. So um, it's kind of bad. So we're gonna flip this on right here and significantly better. So it's kind of funny that all I'm doing is technically slicing the, oh, <laughs> somebody corrected me on the live stream. Apparently I was saying Sortex, not Sfax, it's Sfax. I just woke up, for those of you guys who don't know. You may be able to tell from the tone of my voice, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, I don't know, dampered or kind of reduced in my, my usual chipper self. It's not because I'm not excited, I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll, it's just... I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I got like eight and a half hours of sleep last night and it was like, it was like an act of God to get my ass out of bed this morning. So, um, okay. Uh, I need to make another, another chest real quick. Uh, and I would, well, do we have Envar? Do we have enough Envar? Let's see. Envar, Envar, Envar. Okay. We've only got two Envar ingots here and Envar is ferrous and iron. So God, I, I really don't want to use any more uh, iron or ferrous if I can help it. Um, but I would kind of like to make another chest. Whoops, not that one. Uh, iron. I do need another another chest here. And that should give us three ingots. Yeah. All right, pop that out. Perfect. All right, so that gives us five. Come back over here. And then we're going to do, uh, what is it? I think it's a normal chest. 
surrounded by invar. And then, right? I could have sworn that's how it was. Hang on. Oh, it's by 10 and then by invar. That's right. That's right. All right, one second. We'll come back to you. Uh, let's put you back. Well, actually, no, we're going to need you, aren't we? There's 10. Okay, we'll pick up our little chest here, hopefully. Actually, no, we won't. Uh, mm. What can we put down? Um, we don't need Ferris anymore. That worked. The reason I'm doing this is uh, I have a problem with inventory space. For anybody who's ever watched my videos, you know I am kind of an inventory whore. Specifically, I just have a ridiculous amount of inventory. Terrible management skills. Um, all right, so we're going to put this right here. This is going to be kind of my junk chest. Uh, anything I don't really need to access at the current time or is just a waste of space, we're going to put in here. Uh, and most of this stuff qualifies, minus that. Keeping that, keeping that, keeping you, keeping you. Um, keeping the torches, because we may have to go digging again. We'll deposit this stuff in there. We're gonna keep all the rotary craft stuff and my food. So there we go. We have freed up some inventory space. Yay, yay. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, um, and then last night, this right here is what I call my mining chest. So I usually keep this on me. Um, the reason I do is if any of you guys have ever gone mining, and this is probably not as efficient as maybe a backpack or something, but for whatever reason, I've never really liked backpacks, uh, mainly because I've never found a good backpack mod that works well for me. Usually they're a pain in the ass in some way or fashion. Uh, but you can see I did dig quite a ridiculous hole down here and completely by accident. This is kind of cool. This was completely by accident. I came all the way down here to 12, which you can see. Stopped at 12, started branch mining here and just happened to bump into our uh our mine that we dug i mean this is i don't even know how that's fucking possible i was so blown away by this last night it just it just blew my mind i totally did not mean to do this it was totally by accident so instead i i took off in this direction and i just want to show you guys so you guys don't think that you know i spawned all this stuff in with creative mode uh, but you can see i've I've come down this rather long tunnel here, mining all of this stuff and, and coming up with a bunch of crap. And I did uh, I did actually manage to get fairly far. Like I said, this was only one decent sized branch. If I'd had more time, I would have done a couple of them. Um, but at the time, um, unfortunately it was getting late and um, I, I have the tendency, my natural biological clock has me getting up at about, or going to bed about four o'clock in the morning or so, maybe as late as six. And waking up around three o'clock in the afternoon which is which is fine but you know for the european subscribers that i have uh those guys like it when i run my stream at a at a time where they can actually watch it and so i'm really really trying not to uh slide back into that but what we may end up doing if it if it turns out jj does end up getting canned in uh in february then uh we may set it up to where he does like the morning shift and I do the evening shift. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, today we're going to get into Rotary Craft. For those of you guys who've been watching this series for a while, you know I've been kind of working my way there and kind of struggling with it um, rather horribly. Specifically, we, uh, we had this machine. This is the first engine. This is the DC electric. Uh, DC stands for direct current. And this thing sucks balls. It is the lowest, most basic uh, setup that there is, and it it just it just doesn't do much. Uh, the nice thing about it, though, is it's very cheap to run uh, to build for the most part. Um, it's cheap to run, and it it doesn't cost you much. But at the same time, you're not going to get much for it. The one drawback to it is you do need some kind of switch or something to turn it on, and the other drawback for it is. I'm going to show you guys this. Listen. Reminds me of that, uh, if you've ever seen Dumb and Dumber, it's like, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? No. You know, well, that's what it reminds me of. So, not only that, but we turn the engine off and you can hear it's still running. The thing runs for, like, ever. I mean, like, it's, it's like a 15-second startup and stop time. Which, uh, I, I mean, it isn't really that bad, but it, it does kind of, it does kind of suck. So what we're going to be doing, uh, we hooked this up last time. 
and it didn't work. And mainly because this thing requires a certain amount of juice. Now right here, it requires 2,048 rads. And that's, uh, I think that's rotations or something. And then it needs 32,768 power. Well, I didn't realize this, but this mod actually requires a little bit of math. So it doesn't say anything about torque. You're gonna to notice that about torque. I think the engine to our right does one torque and 1,000 power, or 1,000 rads, which is, I think it's 1,024 rads to be absolutely uh, correct. But you can see right here, 32,000 watts at 2,048 rads. So to find out what your torque is, you take 32,768 and you divide it, which I'm doing with my calculator phone right now, 2048, and that gives me 16. So basically for me to get this, I need 16 torque <coughs> at 2048 uh, rats, which isn't bad, but for this little engine, that's gonna take absolutely forever. I mean, we might it might literally take an hour or two for this little thing to get there. So the other issue is this this thing needs it constantly you know for it before it'll even turn on it needs it constantly and if we can't provide it constantly it, it's not going to do us any good now i think i made that engine and that that spool earlier um let's see let me show you the rod oh god we have a million rods hmm rotary let's see where is the damn thing right here the shaft core this is what we need to put in here uh, the reason we need the shaft core is for the gasoline engine down here which also just happens to be or no I'm not the gasoline engine the AC electric engine the AC electric engine basically uses it as fuel so we have got to figure out how to get a shaft core magnetized whoops and I don't think I still have my shaft core. I think we ended up getting rid of our shaft core. Oh, let me just look the damn thing up. Shaft. Shaft! Oh, that's interesting. There's two different uh, versions of it. Um, okay, well, this is the one we need. Pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and remake this thing because I'm almost positive that uh, we had to get rid of it. So we're gonna pull out our iron here and our iron there. Unfortunately, I think that's all of the iron that we've got. I don't see any other iron here. Yeah. So that, that is the one drawback to this mod is you burn an absolute ridiculous amount of iron. I mean, it is, it's not even funny how much iron you burn with this. So this is gonna give us nine HSLA steel, which we can bring over here. We're gonna put uh, you here. We'll get our shaft rocket and rolling. And there we go. So now we've got our shaft, which I'm gonna come over here and put inside. And right now you can see it just says a, a shaft core. Once this thing's spinning up, you're gonna notice underneath this, it'll say uh, magnetized to like one cycle or something like that. That's basically the fuel count. So what we need to do now is we need to find, and I'm hoping this name hasn't changed. There we go. Industrial coil. And you can see right here, we've got uh, stored energy, zero joules, rotary craft. Now this thing right here, all of the engines in rotary craft produce a certain amount of power at a certain amount of rads or watts or you know whatever, and it's, is real time. It's kind of like uh, one of those engines over there without the storage capacity. Well, once they're doing what they do, if you need to move up or move down, like like with thermal expansion, I just make one of those energy cubes. I feed all the energy into it, and then I, I kind of leave it alone, and it'll do its thing, and it, it's no big deal. And we can we can transfer power very very easily. But rotor cap's a little different. So this little monster right here allows us basically to store energy, and then dispense. <laughs> as my voice cracks <clears throat> sorry I have a cold that is apparently coming out of nowhere and is just uh, just just killing me with mucus I don't know what's going on I'll take another sip of Red Bull and hopefully clear it okay so what we need to do is we need to make one of these industrial coils and we need to use it to store our power 
And then once we store enough power, we can magnetize our rod enough to switch over to AC electric. Once we switch over to AC electric, it will be like moving from, um, I don't know, maybe one of your, your little Hot Wheels cars, you know, the kind that you used to roll backwards. Like you, you put it down on all four wheels and then you hold it backwards and it winds up and then you let it go and it goes moving across the street. Well, you're gonna be moving from one of those cars to like, I don't know, a Porsche. So it's gonna be pretty, pretty drastic. So let's go ahead and start working on this process. Um, I'm gonna have to make some more steel, unfortunately. And I'm, I'm just hoping that I have enough steel to make this. Not only that, but I need to go upstairs and make sure we actually have the, the AC electric engine. I know we built one, and I'm going to be very, very mad if it turns out that is one of the things that I lost when Oppie killed me. See, we, we did a lot of stuff, and unfortunately, I was... <laughs> you, we, we did a uh, donations for shots at the time, which means I, I got a little hammered. And unfortunately, when I got hammered, I completely forgot some of the stuff that we did. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like we may have lost that engine in that time. And if it turns out we did, yeah, I'm not seeing it here. I know we made that engine. So Oppie and, uh, Oppie and Big D did blow me up a few times for the streamer's enjoyment. And I believe we lost that engine. Let me look over here. Hope it's in here. God dang it, what happened to that engine? I know we had it. I don't think we placed it anywhere. I think it just literally got destroyed. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, actually, stone tool rods I don't need. Uh, Yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know if any of the streamers who are watching remember what happened to that engine. I'm pretty sure it was either when Big D burned me to death when we were supposed to have uh, inventory on or when, uh, when Oppie killed me the second time. I think we got it. So I'm going to cheat and uh, let Oppie replace it. I, I just don't remember what happened to it. Uh, I know we made it. The reason I know we made it is because we had the core. And if you look here at the AC engine, uh, where is it? 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 If you look right here in the process of making this thing, I believe. No, well, maybe not. What the hell do we spend it on? It must have been the rotary craft one. I I don't remember. We we made we made we made this engine. I do know that for a fact because when we made it, let me show you. I had no idea it required any power, and you can see right here that's where it needed the shaft. And if you click over there, you can see that it requires the shaft. See shaft core. So that's how I knew it needed one. I I honestly don't remember what happened to it. So, anyways, we are gonna go ahead and set this up over here and we're gonna replace the other engine once we can um, gold ingot you know what let me check our gold supplies we got nine gold What's that and plus seven how much do we need for this three or four plus what eight eight plus four eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah we got plenty all right just so the, the cheat monkeys don't get mad at us, we're going to go ahead and remake the engine. Because I, I honestly think we made it, but on the off chance that we didn't make it, I don't want to get yelled at. Uh, so it's just easier for us to remake it. Um, it just makes it easier that way. That way, the cheat monkeys can't get mad at me. Ah, they cannot scream at me. All right. Um, pretty easy there. Uh, everything else is based. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. You know, we're going to move this thing now. I'm absolutely tired of having to go back up and then back down. Since all of our other engines and parts are down here, we're just going to move it down. I don't. I honestly don't know why we haven't moved it yet. All right, so the guys in the stream are confirming that I did, in fact, make it and that it just disappeared. But like I said, it's, it's just better. I don't know. I seem to remember it was up there somewhere. I have no idea. I'm going to have to go back and watch my series now 
If one of you guys can figure out what happened to that engine, find out and let me know. Because I am dying to know what happened to that engine now. See, this right here, folks, is why you should never drink in Minecraft. <laughs> never! Never drink in Minecraft, because you just, you just won't remember what happened. Oh, and I hate that, man. It, it, it just bugs me now. Because, I mean, if I lost it, I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, because at least... At least I know what happened to it. But, you know, currently it's like... It, it's in this, this limbo phase. And I got no idea what happened. It's... Oh, Big D may have had it. Yeah, Big D may have had it. I, I didn't even think about Big D. Alright, we're going to bring... I guess we'll leave this over here. It makes more sense to leave it right here. No, we, I have the mob spawner here. So, and I checked that a second ago. A lot of people think I, I left it up there, but that was one of the first things I checked was to see if it was, was up there, and it definitely was not. So, uh, I must be screwing up this recipe. Oh, yes, wrong shaft. Shaft! There we go. All right, so we remade our AC electric engine. Now there is now there is no question um, about where we got this thing. So this right here will be where we put our magnetized core, which is right here. But now we need to make the industrial thingamadoobradeely. That's actually the technical term for it, thingamadoobradeely. Uh, let's go ahead and pull that thing up. All right, industrial, and we may not have enough metal for this. So we've got the shaft, uh, we need the mount. The mount's easy, let's go ahead and make the mount. Uh, okay, mount. And put that there, that's good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make another volley of this awesome iron stuff here. I will say as far as mods go that require steel, short of equivalent exchange, this is I just heard something break. Now I'm all tripped out. Uh, this one is one of the easier ones to make steel with, which I am eternally thankful for. Okay, so let's see. A tension shaft is just a wing spring. So we need uh, some of these. Good God, this is an expensive mod. Oh, all right, so we got those. Uh, it's kind of weird that they, they don't stack. All right, so that's our, but that's how it was, right? Oh, it wants a shaft in the middle. Shaft! Sorry, I have to do that every time. Oh wow, none of them stack. Damn. That is just painful. All right, we we'll put that shaft in the middle. There is our tension coil. Now we need the brake disc, and this thing is annoying. I am not a fan of brake discs because they are expensive. I mean, the nice thing is they give you a ton of them, but they're Oh God, all right, so we need another shaft bearing. To make those, we need to make some ball bearings. So we'll put two of these there, because this ball bearings, you in the middle, and then we just do this all the way around. There we go, that is our shaft bearing. And then we need some 2X gears, which are just HLS steel gears, and those, we already have those HLS steel gears. Bam, bam, and then we put you here and you here. Perfect, and I think that's everything we need for this now yes yes which means we now have everything we need for that let's come over here we put the tension coil in the middle put that there ah damn it we used our last shaft man shaft sorry sorry shut your mouth for those of you guys who don't know where that's from ask your parents that we'll get a kick out of it. All right, and then I believe it's like that for the shaft. Yes, sir. Okay, shaft there. Boom, boom. Where did it go? Okay, and then boom. And that gives us our industrial coil. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so now we need to put this here. Oh, really? Now I need to rotate it. I need a screwdriver. Screwdriver. All right, how do we make that? 
Oh, good. It just requires iron. Okay. <laughs> like everything else in this mod. Chef's one bad must shut your mouth. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Our big chest here. Okay. Boom. Boom. That's right. Well, wait a minute. That. Uh, what? So, or is it forcing me to use the HSLA ingot? There it goes. So, apparently, the other recipe is broken. Fair enough. All right. Bam. Okay. Now you can see that the input is green, the output is red, which is kind of what we want. And then we just simply flip this. And what that's basically doing is it's charging this. Now, one of the drawbacks to this is you can't actually see this thing charge unless you have one of the, uh, what is it? I think it's the magnemometer thingy. Where is it? Actually, let's just do it this way. That wrote, oh, what the fuck? I was kicked off the server. What the hell? I I feel, I feel bummed. What? Why was I kicked? Why was I kicked? I am offended. All right. What we need is this little monster right here. Excuse me. The angular transducer, which I would totally make, except I'm not going to waste my only ender pearl that I have on this thing. Actually, yeah, we are. And the only reason we're doing it is we have to do it. Um, yeah, it's going to be upstairs. What this little thing does is it lets us know how much stuff is stored in the um, thingy. And yes, I'll, I'll probably be using technical terms like the thingy and the, 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 the duper dealy and... Oh, come on, where is my, where is my ender pearl? Is it downstairs? If it's downstairs, I'm gonna be mad. That means we just came all the way upstairs for nothing. Yeah, I think we came all the way upstairs for nothing. Yay, we went upstairs for nothing. Um, what I'll probably end up doing also for the engine, cause the, the engine, like I said, makes a lot of noise. Um, we will probably end up muting it with, uh, there it is. Is it still cooking? Yes, okay. Um, there's two ways to mute that thing. You can make a noise muffler, I think it is. Sound, there we go. You can make one of these sound mufflers and basically it deadens all sound. Or you can uh, actually go into the config and you can adjust the sound uh, or you can actually turn it off. It just kind of, it just kind of depends. So either one works. All right, angular, there it is. Angular transducer. Uh, we need wood. Pull that out and we need sticks. Or well, we need a stick. And then let's go, uh, bam. There we go. All right. So with our angular transducer, and I hope this works the way I think it works. All right. So you can see it, it shows you basically how the machine is configured. And you can also see right here, we're at 179 kilojoules. And that's just, that's just ticking up at one kilojoule a second. So that's a lot of sound or a lot of seconds that we're going to need to keep this thing going. That's, that's a lot. To give you guys an idea, we need to get to a megajoule on here, which is basically a thousand seconds before this thing over here will uh, do its job. Now, the other thing is, some of you guys may be wondering, well, why isn't it just dumping straight over into that? Well, that's one of the, the good and bad things about the industrial coil. The industrial coil cannot receive energy and give energy at the exact same time. It can only do one or the other. So since we only have one coil at the moment, all we can do is charge it, and then once we're done charging it, then we we can basically dump it into the little machine over here. Uh, to do that, uh, you just do the standard, oh, flip it around. You have the standard little guy up here, and then you flip it. Now, what we're gonna do real quick, uh, we're gonna, I'm obviously I'm not gonna make you guys sit here for like 15 minutes and watch this, but um, 
I'm gonna let it tick up just a little bit more before we do. Um, yeah, we're at 256. Okay. So one of the things you do wanna be careful about with this, you're gonna see this, this industrial coil, it will allow you to customize the juice that is coming out of it. What do I mean by that? Well, this thing right here produces, I think at one, um, one torque and a thousand um, 24 watts or rads or whatever. Well, this thing over here, the magnetizing unit, for it to magnetize, we need 2,048 rads and like I showed you guys earlier, you need to divide this number by this number and that'll give you the torque. We already did that, it needs 16. So we need 248, so 2048, and then 16. So at 32,000 rads, or 32,000 watts, it's gonna last, and that's basically per second. So at 32,000, it's, it's not gonna last long, and you guys can see right here, We've got 313, so at 32,000, that's what? How many seconds is that? 313 by 32, is that now, is that kilojoules? Hang on, oops, nope, damn it. Yes, okay, 32,000, it's 32,000 watts. So at this, we've got 100 and, we may actually have enough to, oh God, Sorry for that brief interruption. Uh, while I was doing the math on this machine right here, um, I forgot that my hotkey for changing the uh, the scenes on my stream is the same as uh, my, my numericals. So when I entered the numbers here, it turned off the stream for everybody else. So anyways, as I was saying, uh, we've got this now set at 2048, 16. Uh, this thing has no magnetization on it yet. And we're gonna see what happens when we flip this. Now, uh, well, I guess we can do that now. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a shot real quick. I'm going to go ahead and flip this real fast, and as you can see, we've got almost half of a megajoule in there. I don't expect this to last very long, if at all. So we're going to go ahead and flip that real quick. You can see it's rotating now. You can see how fast we're burning juice. Bam, 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 bam. It's just dropping like a rock. And we're going to wait till it hits zero, and done. So we're going to go ahead and flip that back over. And now it's going to start charging again. You can see it's charging back up. Let's see if anything we got. We have one micro Tesla on that. So to give you guys an idea, one micro Tesla will allow me to start this engine here. And I'm going to actually try and do that real quick. Let's see. What is a redstone clock? Redstone clock. Redstone clock. Redstone clock. Actually, let's just do it with clock, huh? There we go. How hard is it to make that? Not very hard. What we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to set this up, and I'm going to show you guys the difference in power and charging time. And we're going to find out how long that little burst of energy we've got is going to last for us. Anyways, hopefully for those of you guys watching on YouTube, you guys like this video. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.